Welcome, kings and queens. I wanted to jump on really quickly. There's a lot going on. You know, right when you think things are going to settle down, we're going to tuck ourselves away and be able to go to bed, more and more begins to be revealed about the Scots from Love and Marriage, Huntsville, which is why sometimes it's not good to run your mouth and talk as much as they do. Um, you never know who's listening. For those of you who are just tuned in, I am Queen Sheba. I cover a variety of hot topics specific to reality television, but most importantly, I hone in on the behavior on the psychological traits of the black experience. This is not a drill. This is not a drill. Today we are talking love and possible lockup with Letitia and Marceau Scott. If they don't get their act together real soon. You know, I remember my grandmother used to say, um, can't no right come from doing wrong. And I didn't have a full understanding of what that meant when I was younger. But I understand now. And y'all, the Scots were real wrong for turning on Melody when she helped them make a way out of no way. She helped Marcel make a no make a way out of no way for his family as a man Marceau when your back was up against the wall and you found yourself without work or little to no work she bailed you out she gave you the opportunity that you now have if it had not been for her kindness and her willingness to help a friend black would be non-existent and so would love and marriage Huntsville This is a prime example of why you have to. Actually, you must use discernment with who you help because some folks are truly ungrateful. These people, Letitia and Marceau, took out two PPP loans to floss and cap on national television in order to present themselves as something that they really aren't. Okay, and you know, the sad thing is we just witnessed, follow this closely, a few episodes ago, a few episodes back, Marcel said that Letitia is the majority owner of Schult, Scott, I'm sorry, Scott. So what does that mean? That means she possesses 100% liability. If those loans are found to be issued under false pretenses, she can and she will do time if the federal government decides to to pursue this. I'm not even focused on the other lawsuit that they're in. I'm thinking about the PPP loan. And Tisha, don't think that it can't happen to you because it happened to Teresa Judice. And she was married way longer than you. And I know you like to throw up in our faces that that 15 years um, gives you advantages. And guess what? It can also work against you. Because the first thing the government will do or say is that being that you've been married that long, then you should have known or you did know. Okay? So you got to be real careful on how you show up, what you say, and when you say it. It's happened to other housewives. It's happened to other reality TV stars. It just happened with the housewife on um, Salt Lake City. The government is not playing. Sweetheart, your husband does not give a damn about you. Because when a man loves a woman, and I'm I'm not even trying to be funny, when a man truly loves a woman, he wouldn't put you in that type of position. He wouldn't put your name on financials knowing that his intent is to do wrong, to run a scam allegedly, or to not pay his bills or whatever it is that he has going on. Letitia, I am being as sincere as I can. You know, we, we, we tend to have a lot of fun as content creators going in on the cast members, but for real, for real. This sounds like the perfect setup to me. God forbid if y'all were to catch a case behind this, 
girl, they're going to examine every inch of paperwork and they will nail you to the cross. Ladies that are tuned in, we are in 2022. We are not in the golden days. We cannot continue to be dumb over a man. This lady has signed her entire life away financially. That man set her up to be imprisoned financially for life. And I don't mean like by her going to jail, mental imprisonment, mental imprisonment. I'm trying to <laughs> mental imprisonment. She just signed on the dotted line for a loan in the amount of $950,000. That's close to a million dollars. If Marceau decides that he wants to walk away or leave her tomorrow, that's all on her. Letitia, baby, this is not a game. You can't default on these kind of loans. These folks, they can, and they will lock you up behind your money. I guess my question is, what in the hell were you thinking? Are you really, really that beside yourself behind Marcel? And I, listen, y'all, for real, I'm going to turn my hat. I'm going to turn my entertainment hat to the back. Because this is a clear case of low self-esteem. Are you willing to go down behind all of this? You know? This is huge, Letitia. I'm not even worried about the lawsuit that I that they're involved in for the $800,000. My concern is this girl is willing to lose her freedom behind a man, a man who has clearly manip- manipulated her over and over and over on national television, and it now looks as if he's allegedly manipulating the situation so that he walks away scot-free, literally. You know, the funny thing about time, it will always level the playing field. You know, if, you, if you're feeling down, if you're feeling like somebody, you know, did you wrong, you're in this crazy situation, give it time. Because what comes up or what goes up must come down. You know, um, a couple of weeks ago, a fan or a viewer asked Marcel and Tisha, would they ever consider thanking Melody for what she's done for them? And I think it was Marcel who said something along the lines of, well, you can keep waiting or don't hold your breath. That's what he said. Don't hold your breath. Well, it looks like we won't have to. Because according to these newly revealed reports, you've allegedly frauded the government in the amount of 80000 give or take, Because Schultz isn't even licensed. Imagine that. You're taking out loans in a business that doesn't have a license or has an expired license. So how will you explain that to the government? And you didn't have enough common sense to separate the physical addresses that are used for each loan, right? They they apply for two PPP loans, okay, for Schultz but they use the address of black. Make it make sense. Just ghetto. Just ghetto. The ghetto-ness of it all. At least get your paperwork in order. At least appear to be somewhat (laughs) of a white-collar criminal. Don't just be sloppy with it, and I'm not promoting crime, but I'm just saying, at least fact check. Greed caused you to make somewhat of a costly mistake because it is now public knowledge and the federal government, I'm I'm telling you this, the federal government, they have extended PPP loan investigations for up to 10 years now. So they can go up. They, they have 10 years to come after you. One of the loans that they applied for show that the status has been forgiven but that can be amended or overturned if the government discovers that they fraudulently that they applied for this loan um, in a fraudulent way by providing incorrect or inaccurate information. Letitia, 
I got to take a sip of wine on this one. Mm. Letitia, your priorities are wrong. You so bu- you're so busy worried about Melody. Mm-mm. Baby, don't worry about Melody. Melody. Melody can take care of herself. I need you to be focused on what's going on inside of your household. Because you've gotten yourself involved in some really serious trouble. How in the world can you not see that this man has finessed you all the way to the bank? Even if they pay off that PPP loan, she's still she's still looking at almost one million dollars that she has to pay back for the loan that she took out to build that house. And I'm gonna be honest. I don't think she has that type of earning power. I don't think she has those type of business opportunities flowing in or that type of entrepreneurial experience. You know, um, it's funny because sometimes when you watch these shows and they're doing things or they're revealing things within the uh, episodes, you're thinking that just don't make sense but we don't have enough information to put two and two together. And also because the Scots are so sneaky and um, they don't share a lot, they lie a lot. It's hard, right? We have to wait and sit and wait for things like this to come out. But that explains why Marcel just out the blue went to Africa. Okay. And I'll tell you why you got to keep in mind that he applied for two PPP loans both in the amount of about $40,000. So I'm going to tell you what happened. That money hit on a Thursday. That Negro was on that computer. He booked that flight and he was out of here. So it very, well, it very well may have been an impromptu, hey, I'm out of here. I'm going to Africa. Okay. However, however, I would not be surprised if she did not know that he took those loans out. I wouldn't be shocked. She may, she may not have known. Now that I'm thinking about how he is and who he is, it's 50-50. I I will say this. I do believe in my own personal opinion. Now that I know how conniving they are and how conniving and trifling he is and what he's willing to do um, to get what he wants, I do believe he did take a woman to Africa. Don't play with me. Mm -mm. You can't tell me that man got $40,000 in that bank account that day and he didn't want to floss on something or somebody. You didn't take your wife. You had plenty enough money to take your wife and your kids. That man took another woman, in my opinion. Now that I know what I know regarding this money, and then two months later he went back and got another 40, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, he was flossing. He was balling, shot calling, all of that. He definitely flew somebody out. But, you know, this is really sad because all jokes aside, this man is setting this girl up to take the fall just in case. I wondered why he suddenly had a change of heart. You know, for three seasons, this dude was like, no, we're a traditional couple. She can't work. She can't do this. My woman's not going outside the home. This is what you signed up for. Then all of a sudden, boom, overnight, he was like, Letitia's the brains behind the operation. She's the boss. She makes all of the business decisions. Put two and two together. This Negro was going on public record. That's public record. And she sat there being naive, just smiling and a grinning. Like she won something because she wanted Melody. You were so focused on Melody, you couldn't see the bigger picture. You were so focused on being a boss like Melody, you didn't see your husband was allegedly, potentially setting you up to take the fall. And you're just grinning. Did it not occur to you to say, why my husband all of a sudden acting changed and brand new? 
And I guarantee you, even if somebody pulls her to the side and tries to warn her, you need to be careful. Your husband just took out $80,000, give or take. Um, You just put your name on a line for almost a million dollars. Even if somebody pulled her aside and tried to school her, I guarantee you she wouldn't believe them. Letitia seems like the type who would actually have to touch the fire to know that it's hot. I believe Letitia wouldn't realize how serious this is unless she was actually sitting in a jail cell. Marcel, in my opinion, is actually worse than Martel, but in a different way. Marcel is cold hearted because he does not give a damn about Letitia as a mother, as a daughter, or as a woman, and or a wife. This man is setting this up so he bears no legal and or financial responsibility for anything that comes his way. These people are criminals. You can take the criminal out the hood, but baby, you cannot take the hood out the criminal. Good luck, Letitia.